Well, good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening, everyone. This is Organic Dairyman, and welcome back to my channel today. Today is what is today? Monday, November twenty. I think it's twenty. 22nd today, yep, November 22nd. So, uh, yeah, I hope your guys' day is going great. Mine's going pretty good so far. And uh, as you can see, um, I'm heading down the road with some gravity boxes. So, what does that all mean? What are we up to here today? Well, we're going to try to go over to that um, far away field, or I want to call it the muck field, and we're going to try to combine some soybeans today. Because last night it got fairly cold. It got down in the, the low teens Fahrenheit. So like 16, 17 Fahrenheit last night. So it was kind of chilly. So the ground kind of froze. So we're going to try to get that field. You know, we brought the combine and everything over there um, yesterday um, evening. And we got it all ready. And so, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna give that a try. Uh, we combined a little bit last night. It worked just barely. Um, obviously, you saw that one video it was kind of muddy, and uh, so yeah. So we're giving her another try here. Um, we're gonna try to get over there today. It's supposed to get into the low 50s, so yeah. I wish it would have stayed colder a little longer, but we'll see how it goes. And um, I know it's been like a week and a half. I think something, something like that since I last recorded anything. So. Um, there's some stuff I think that I recorded in between that time of some of the other things that went on, just some small stuff. So uh, um, if I do have anything, I'll throw it in at the end of this segment so you can go back or so that you can see it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But anyways, we're going to uh, see if we can combine those beans because we got to get those beans out because uh, if it snows and those beans are on the ground, it ain't going to be any good. Corn is a little more forgiving, but beans aren't so forgiving, so, uh, anyways, I guess you can come along for the ride, and uh, we'll see how the things go today. You can see I'm over here at the field now and uh, this is what we did last night in the dark and we were still leaving tracks so yeah I don't know how much it's how well it's gonna work like I say today it's supposed to get up to 50 degrees so it's already getting melting here it's a little bit greasy on top yet it's still a little bit froze underneath a little bit but uh, I don't know I was hoping it was gonna stay cooler longer I mean, it's supposed to like a Thursday night, it's supposed to cool down, but all I know is we're gonna leave the combine over here until we get those beans done. But it's, yeah, it's supposed to get down to the teens again on Thursday night, so. I, I just wish we could get like three days of temperatures in the, you know, in the, in the, the low teens and then highs in the 20s. Ideally, that's what we'd like, but. Anyways, I gotta unload what's in there because I'm gonna have to dump as frequently as I can to save on weight because weight is their enemy right now. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Eventually, this combine does not have rear wheel assist, but we would eventually like to try to find a rear wheel assist kit for it to put on here or get one off a of used combine. And that would really help. But, anyways, we're gonna give her a heck and see what, what happens here.
my uh, lunch is here, so better go grab some lunch. Uh, so far, it's been going good, but it's I can tell the ground is thawing out, so but I better go because I don't want to get my wife to go grab the grubs. My wife, and she's not wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> attempt to do one more round then I think I'm gonna quit uh, my brother and my nephew are gonna take those two gravity boxes back home but I'm gonna go over here and try to do one round over here over there it's just getting too getting too muddy you could tell it warmed up quite a bit or the ground warmed up just enough that it it's worse than when I got started <laughs> so uh, it's a beautiful evening though so, one more round, I'm gonna quit. Okay, I'm just doing the last dump for the day here. And the moisture in this one was like 13.8, but I noticed it's, it's getting um, later, the moisture's been picking up. Um, seems like one side of the field we got a different we got some blue organic blue river soybeans and these over here and this side if you are pioneer and um, they seem like they're a little bit drier so I mean they're actually pioneer they're organic beans too but that's what we got but anyways uh, let's see the weather for tomorrow is high of 58 tomorrow 36 and Wednesday so Thursday gonna get cold again but uh, then it's gonna warm up again on Friday uh, we just need some nice cold temps I'm not supposed to get down to 12 on Wednesday so we we'll probably won't be able to come over here tomorrow but I'll probably be come back over here again on uh, Thursday and see if we can get close to getting done hopefully that day hopefully see that yesterday morning <sighs> well good morning everybody and welcome to day two of this video um, I was just looking over well this gravity box here I noticed yesterday there was some tape on here well my cousins they borrowed it um, was it to, I don't know it was a it was like a couple well, almost a couple weeks ago now not quite but almost a couple weeks ago and to use for corn for combining some corn anyways and I noticed it came back is there's some tape on here well this wasn't something that they did or whatever it was already it was already happening it just it was a stress a stress thing or rust corrosion and so I've been looking over the gravity box and finding other places that it needs some there's some cracks there so anyways um, I'm gonna take some tape and put on the inside and we're just gonna get by for the day here because um I don't know we're gonna go over to the I'm gonna go over to the field and I'm gonna try to combine some if it's see how it is if it's too muddy I'll just quit but we gotta try anyways but anyways I'm just gonna take these two over there for now uh, with my brother's pickup trucks so that way if it doesn't work out I can just come right back quickly but um I plan on taking this I'm gonna call my welding friend and see if we can get this over there and maybe this weekend he can work on it and uh, get some welding done up on it but yeah so anyways 
I better get the tape in this on the inside here and head down the road. Oops, I gotta climb up here, so that's what I gotta do. Okay. Got over to the field over here and I gotta start the combine here. I gotta start it from the back. The safety switch up in the front there is, or the safety switch, the starter switch inside the cab thing doesn't work right. So I make sure though I put the combine in neutral so it ain't gonna take off and go. So this for now has to be my starter. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I was dealing with yesterday is mud gets up on here and then it won't cut right. Uh, so I'm just looking over all the sections and guards, make sure there's none that are broke. So far we look good here. That one's got a little chip in there. But none look broke. <laughs> well, that looks good anyway. So I'll let the combine warm up and then we'll see how it's going to go. Because it's obviously a little bit warmer today. But I think I'm going to stick to this side of the field. I think this side might work a little better than that side. That side seems like it's just, it was mudding up more over there. That's all we can do. Give it a try and see what happens. I think I'm just gonna quit. Um, I'm just having a lot of trouble. I don't know if you can see in the time lapse, but I'd stop sometimes. And the biggest thing, I'm just having trouble with mud building up on the cutter bar, and then it doesn't cut, and then it plows over beans. It's like the temperature right outside right now is like 60 degrees, so uh, it's just so gosh darn slimy out in the field. I mean, yeah, there's still some frost like a thin layer of frost like maybe that thick but of course you bust through that and of course a little bit on top that frost it's just slimy just this is weird soil it's so different than the soil back at our farm it's just so different just like it's the chemistry and everything it's just different soil when this soil is wet it's wet when it's dry it's dry it's just like it's like there's no in between. It's like it's either wet or it's too dry sometimes. Just different soil. But I know this year we spread like a ton to the acre of lime on here. So we're hoping, you know, to the chemistry we could make the soil open up more porous. It's it's low in calcium. The soil gets very tight. So so I think I'm just gonna quit and uh, pull that one that partial load back home. And let's have to wait. It's supposed to get down to nine degrees. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm supposed to get down to like nine degrees on um, this week here on what, was Wednesday night. So, so that means we'll be combating on Thursday and probably on Friday. Yeah, the temperature's supposed to go back up to 50 degrees, something degrees on Friday again. It's like if you wanted it to be cold, when you want it to be cold, it can't be cold. When you want it to be warm, it won't be warm this time of year. It's got to be warm.
Okay. Obviously, you can see I am back home now. And uh, I was going to put some stuff on here in the mixer wagon for the uh, young stock and the dry cows. And uh, I'm to wait for this dumb thing to do its hello thing every time. Well, there's still stuff on here yet. <laughs> I don't know, look and see what the deal is with that. This is 14. Oh, now there's not any on here. Not much. But anyways, um, oh man, that mud in that field over there. So it got up to 60 degrees today. Zero that out. But yeah, I got up to 60 degrees here today, so it's nice, but it's not nice. We're trying to get our crop out. I just we can't even get that corn out over there either. You gotta wait for it to get harder or colder out. So, but I guess. So I'm gonna get this loaded up. Probably grab a bite to eat, and I guess we'll probably wait till um. Might just wait till Thursday to combine some. I know Thursday is Thanksgiving, but I hate working on Thanksgiving. But I always figure, you know, the pilgrims they didn't celebrate Thanksgiving until they were done harvesting so you can always celebrate thanksgiving later on when you can celebrate when you're done harvesting so afternoon everybody welcome to day three of this video and I wasn't sure if we were actually going to even try combining some beans today but we are because it's a little bit colder out than what they said um, there's a nice little wind chill out there the wind blowing temperature I think uh, um, it says here it's the pickup truck says I don't know if you can see if it says yeah so it's 29 degrees, so we're gonna give her another try today. So we didn't know, you know, how cold it was gonna get, so we thought, well, we'll try it. So yeah, I wasn't actually planning on filming anything today because I didn't know if we were going to try again, but we are. So, anyways, I gotta get turned around here at this wagon. I gotta turn around up here, and then I gotta stick some fuel in the combine. And I forgot my sunglasses. Ugh. So yeah, I just got a stick. I got like 30 gallons of fuel. I got a stick in there. And she, it's a little slimy over here. I don't know why. So that's what we're gonna do. Stick some fuel in the combine and give her another try. See if she goes better today. It should be cold. Yes, I know. There's people that are like, why don't you have a fuel trailer? Well, we don't have one because we don't have one. And this works, gets us by. So this is the only field that we need to do it on anyway. So I guess if someone wants to sponsor us and uh, let us use one of those Thunder Creek fuel trailers. I'd be fine by that. But Make do with what you have sometimes.
out it is hard to kind of steer this thing sometimes out here that's why it looks a little zigzaggy out there because yesterday it was hard to steer a little better today but still it uh still sinking in a little bit but it's not so far the head ain't plugging up with mud so it's crusty enough on top so yesterday it was just too slimy so we're gonna get her done well, I won't get done today but between today and tomorrow hopefully we'll get this thing done so yeah I guess I better concentrate here and see what I can get done. Okay. <laughs> I slugged the combine and I have never done that before on soybeans so it's the first time for that but I don't know, it's these gosh darn weeds over here. Oh, I just wish we had gotten over here and got the cultivation done sooner. But, uh, yeah, I went to the different side of the field and tried it and it's plugged up, so... I don't know, I should maybe pop this one off and see, but... I don't know. I'm gonna try to spin it over one more time with the combine. See if I can get it. I got the concave open up all the way, so... Of course, I gotta go back up here and start it every time, because... I gotta get that stupid switch in the cab fixed. But. Well, you can see you got the combine back going again. <laughs> so then we got these patch of weeds up here. It's like it's clean all the way back over to there. And then it's up here, it's just weedy. I don't know why, but uh, that's the way it is. But combine's back going again. Okay, everyone, um, we're done for the day here. Um, got all the chores done. We left the cows in the barn, fed them because it's cold out. I would say, like, right now it's like 10 degrees, 10 degrees above zero Fahrenheit. So, um, give me my breath. But, anyways, yeah, down here in the, in the calf corn slash repair shed temporary shed. And uh, I got my little heater going here. Uh, this is that propane heater that I, I showed you in I think the last video I bought. I got the tank filled. Um, actually, I filled it out here in the farm. We got a couple, um, we got a thousand gallon propane tank that's pretty much full. Fill it with cheap propane, so I just fill it myself out here in the farm. So, save some money that way. But anyways, that's what I'd quick show you before I close out this video. I've been, you know, working at the uh, cleaning up this engine block. I kind of buffed up the head a little bit here. This, you know, you don't want to take any metal off or anything, but and I just been slowly trying to clean the block out and get everything cleaned out down in there. And there was a bunch of sludge in there and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I've been working at this anyways. And so we got to get this stuff to the machine shop yet right here, but hopefully here soon we'll get it in there. I know I keep saying that, but. Uh, we'll get it in eventually. It's kind of a tedious job getting that block clean up. It had a lot of sludge in it and stuff, so. I'll get there eventually, but I just want to make sure it's good, good and clean. It's very important that you do. It's the most important part of it. It's not the most glamorous part of 
overhauling an engine, but it's the most important part to get that clean because you gotta get that clean because like where the O-ring goes down, that's gotta seal up, otherwise that will leak. That's part of the old O-ring and it's just brittle, breaks right off. So anyways, I'm tired and I need to get to bed so we can get to finish combining those beans in the morning and um, get that job done. I don't know if we'll get done tomorrow or not, but we'll get, for sure on Friday we should get done, so. So that's what the deal is, so. I'll keep you informed. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscri subscribe. Check me out on Rumble at Organic Damon. Check me out on um, Instagram, um, Twitter, Telegram, and Gab at Organic Damon. And thanks the guy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess see you in the next video.